field emission scanning electron microscope field emission actually indicates the, the types of electron gun used uh, electron gun is the uh, source or main source of electron in the SM imaging analysis and this is actually most widely used microscope or electronic microscope to reveal the microscopic features through the scanning the surface of materials by focused electron beam passed through the different electromagnetic lenses and apertures in high vacuum conditions so for better understanding uh, i should uh, explain some words like electron microscope uh, as there are actually uh, only focused electron beam is used to visualize the microscopic features and they are actually passed through the different electron microscope uh, electromagnetic lens actually and these electromagnetic lenses are not made of glass they are actually made of metallic wire or metal uh, that actually uh, uh, functions with the change of the electric voltage and the apertures actually they allow some portion of the uh, electron beam uh, to the specimen and total system should be in high vacuum conditions or proper vacuum conditions and uh, for the image formation uh, the focused electron beam scans over the surface of the given specimen and generate rectangular image for better imaging in the scanning microscope some important things should bear in mind that, uh, that our sample should be dry enough and it should be coated with uh, conductive layer or conductive coated uh, to avoid the charging of the samples and if uh, it is suggested that if it is uh, conductive samples uh, then it is safe to uh, actually coat it with uh, conductive coating like gold coating and proper uh, vacuum conditions uh, otherwise our total system will not uh, function properly now let's see the instrumental setup of the scanning electron microscope like it first start with the electron gun that's the main source of electron as i said earlier and then it is actually uh, anode positively charged and the function of this anode is uh, to guide the produced electron from the electron gun and then uh, the first condenser and the second condenser lenses the uh, activities of this uh, condenser lens actually and they give a proper shape of the electron beam and then it is uh, passed through the uh, scanning coil or it is called the optic lens and this uh, back scattered electron detector and the position of this uh, back scattered electron detector may be uh, somewhere according to the manufacturer design and this is the sample with the sample stage and total system uh, should be in proper vacuum and now let's move to the top again uh, from the electron gun when the proper vacuum is achieved uh, we can actually apply the high electric voltage the amount of electric voltage depends on the purpose uh, if our purpose is actually just to make an image of the samples then uh, 5 kilovolt electric voltage is uh, suggested and for the electro uh, element analysis uh, our uh, specialist suggests in the 20 kilovolt is enough when you apply the electric volt, electron is uh, generated and is actually guided by the anode and then it passes through the first condenser and second condenser lens and uh, through the objective lens and finally it strikes the sample surface and uh, generates backscatter electron and the x-ray that is detected by the x-ray and the uh, most important thing is the secondary electron detector that detects the secondary electrons produced from the uh, samples and it is uh, connected with the amplifier with the CPU and the scanning coils that uh, scans over the uh, surface of the samples that is uh, controlled by the scan generator they are also connected with the CPU and finally the image forming this process is visualized in the computer monitor now let's see the interaction between a beam electron and the specimen actually what happened when our uh, instant electron beam strike the samples to understand the image formation or the contrast formation the interaction between the focused electron beam and the specimen should be understood clearly and first of all uh, the incident electron actually uh, passed through the uh, atom of the samples that is called uh, actually transmitted electrons and other type of uh, incident electron will strike the electron of the atom of the specimen that actually repels uh, or ejects some electrons uh, from the shell of the atoms of the uh, specimen and a vacant Position is actually 
created and they are called the secondary electrons and the backend produced uh, by this process is occupied by the electron from the upper shell and this actually generates the x-ray and other type of electron is backscattered electron uh, backscattered electron is nothing but the incident electron beam that actually repels by the uh, nucleus of the atom the samples and this backscattered electron uh, bears some uh, characteristics of the nucleus that repels it and by this we can get uh, the information about the nucleus of the atom now let's see the further explanation like uh, the secondary electrons which actually uh, already said it is uh, generated by the strike of the uh, electron beam or high uh, energy electron beam uh, it actually scattered from the uh, atom of the samples it reveals the topographical information of the SM image topographic information means uh, it actually uh, indicates the uh, surface morphology or surface roughness or surface structure of the uh, specimen and by this process we can see x-ray is generated and through this uh, x-ray uh, we can analyze the composition or elemental composition of the samples and then back is scattered electron there is high energy uh, electron and that is uh, repelled by the nucleus of the atom of the specimen and it provides the compositional feature of the SM image and the transmitted electrons I, I already explained and some other phenomena like auger electrons and the cathode emissions also occur and they actually provide some uh, different information about the samples and the electric signals from the interaction between the focused electron beam and the specimen are received by the corresponding detectors that generates corresponding point-to-point -point rectangular image